हे गाइज आई एम स्नेहा एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई चैनल बुक जंक्शन वेलकम टू टूडेज ब्लॉग नाउ दे इज नो प्लान एज सच विद दिस ब्लॉग दिस इज क्वाइट रैंडम एंड basically it's like a day in my life kind of a vlog but i still don't have like a particular routine set so i'm just doing like a bunch of random things that is coming in my mind i still have no clue <laughs> like i really don't have a routine as of now and it it kind of it's like weird and i think it takes some time to like uh, get set in a routine plus this house is like still a little bit alien to me even though i love it but i just think that a home is it takes time to like build your connection with a home i don't want to sound like dramatic but that's what i feel so yeah anyway i do have a lot of work today though i do have a lot of freelance work then i also have to shoot a video which is very important i have been procrastinating upon it like for such a long time but the deadline is close i do have to um, like work on it today so yeah these two things are like mainly on my to do list to complete the articles that i have to do and also like the video because on friday we are going to pondicherry it's like a weekend trip my mom and dad have come they have like they are in rameshwaram at the moment so they're not here but yeah so it's it's going to be a really nice weekend vacation i don't know can we call a two day trip a vacation but anywho i'm kind of excited it's been such a long time that i've like relaxed like in the pure sense of the word however today i am doing something that is definitely you know something that will make me feel better i know and that is read a book it's been such a long time that i have not read a book it almost feels alien to hold a book and uh, honestly right now that i have started living the whole day alone and just i have a lot of time to introspect i have so much time to like listen to my thoughts and i think this is the main reason why no one likes to stay alone it's because when you are around someone you just don't get a lot of like thoughts as in you don't really have to um you know face your thoughts and face all the feelings that you do feel but when you are alone even though if you have like a lot of work even though you do have work you still get like all these thoughts and um you have to face them you have to face these feelings that maybe you, you were trying to run away from but now you really don't have a way to do that so i think that's one of the major reasons why people do hate living alone or staying alone and now i'm understanding it because even though i always enjoyed my own company and like being on my own i really don't think i was ever like alone in the true sense of the word because i always had someone in the house and honestly the presence of another person really matters and i'm understanding that these days because when someone is in the house even though you you guys are like doing your own thing whether it was mom my mom who would be in her room and i would be in my room and we would we would do our own stuff and like after marriage if i i was also working my husband was also working but the presence was there even though we were not essentially like spending time together you know that that matters a lot and we don't realize that until we are alone and we are like oh my god okay i do have a bunch of work to do but the i don't know it's just such it's a very different kind of a feeling and i'm talking about all of this not because i want sympathy i mean it's not even something like that but i i'm just talking about all of this because really i don't i have not seen someone talk about all these things like this openly i think at least for the people that i follow the vloggers i follow whatever i mean everyone kind of like gets into the flow they go to a new place they do have their struggles but maybe they don't want to show them because obviously who wants to see other people struggle i don't know but i feel like it's very important to kind of talk about all these things because i mean you know shifting to a new place getting a house uh, setting it up making it beautiful all of that is really really nice i i highly uh, like recommend you to do all of that but it comes with its own challenges and and i think life is all about like getting to know yourself on a deep in a deeper on or in <laughs> anyway yeah so life is all about getting to know yourself deeply and you just have no idea that you are capable of feeling a bunch of feelings that 
you didn't even know exists i think it's it only happens when you are like put in a position or a situation which you d- just did not anticipate at all and i think that's what ha- what's happening with me like even though i thought i am completely okay with myself i love being alone but i uh, guess what i am definitely finding it a little uh, challenging at the moment not that i can't do it of course i'm doing it right now but you know i'm just sharing my thoughts as in how we are going with this thing because i guess that's what makes us human i think you know so anyway i am reading a book which is so important also i think uh, like spending so much time by myself in this house i have also come to realize why it's so important to have your like hobbies and the things that make you feel like yourself for example books journaling art whatever it is that you love maybe you love playing an instrument sometimes when we are living our life and we are in a flow we tend to take all these things for granted like you love reading but you're not really you know thinking about it actively or you're not you're not even like you know considering it as important or whatsoever but it's so important and you realize it when you are on your own because um that's when you understand that these things uh, like so, sort of make you you these things help you to determine who you are and to make you feel like home so sometimes you feel so alien in your own body in your own mind and it feels like where you are what are you doing will you ever feel like yourself again and it's so important to feel like yourself i don't know if you understand it but our body is like the home for our soul and sometimes our soul just does not align with like where our body is at the moment you know and the things that you love for example books art whatever your hobbies are these things help you a lot in sort of connecting with yourself again so when you do something physically like when you are like writing something or drawing something or just holding a book and reading it's a good way to connect your body and your soul together and i think that's why these things are important so now i have really understood the value of these things a lot of times we are just so engrossed in you know talking with other people just you know being around them and spending time with them that we like totally forget that at the end of the day we have to spend time with ourselves and i think that's something that we definitely take for granted and i've come to realize that after like spending some time over here on on my own so i do want to talk about this book and i will talk about it but before that i want to show you this huge package that i received from wellcurve now so this is the package that i got from wellcurve it's huge and it's actually quite heavy so i'll just uh, place it somewhere over here So yeah I've actually got like a bunch of stuff in here which I'll show you in uh, in a while. So if you're someone who is into a healthy lifestyle or if you're someone who wants to switch to healthier um you know food options and to live a better and healthy life then I think you will love Wellcurve's products. So basically it's a website and you can go there and you will see that there are so many healthy food options available. You can order dry fruits, you can order sugar substitutes, you can in order grocery and just so many items so if you're confused about what to have in breakfast you want to have something healthy but you don't even want to like spend a lot of time in making that you can go to wellcurve's website you will find so many breakfast options that are so healthy you can just order them for example muesli i do have a bunch of things in this package so i will show you that in a while then you can order grocery you can order dry fruits there are so many healthy snacks available. available on the website then you also have nutrition supplements on their website beverages sugar substitutes which is so interesting because um i think all of us want to leave sugar i do take sugar in my uh, tea coffee but other than that i'm not really a fan of sweets but if you are someone who is looking for sugar substitutes you will get that on wellcurve's website then you also have a lot of special combos you also you can also shop by brand so it's a very wholesome website and if you are someone who wants to switch to a healthier lifestyle i think wellcurve will be amazing for you so now let's let's see what are all the items inside this package so uh, first we have this card which says blessed to have you 
and thank you so much so the first item is this pack of sugar free cookies coconut multi grains so this is the package i hope you guys can see properly so this is the package it's quite big actually I love coconut. I am a huge fan of coconut, and this says it is sugar-free. So I'm excited to try it, and it's also multi-grain. So we have oats, millet, ragi, whole wheat, and soya. Now this sounds really good, and I'm quite excited. I'll actually try one right uh, now, so that I can give you like my, you know, like my instant review. Wait. So this is how the package opens. So you get like two packs inside this one. Let me try one. So these are the cookies. They look really, really enticing. I'm really excited to try one. Wow. This is actually really really nice. You won't even feel like there's no sugar. Of course, it's not like you know very sweet like all the other cookies. It's mildly sweet, but you won't feel like it's not sugar. And the flavor of coconut is really intense. It's amazing. I love the texture. I'm a fan of this and I'm going to order this again. This one is in the coconut variant, but I'm sure there are other variants too. But I'm such a big fan of this. This is really really good. Next, I've got um, pumpkin seeds. This is to boost your nutrition. So this is the package. I will definitely look for like recipes and how I can eat this. This is a reusable pouch, by the way. So that's great. Pumpkin uh, seeds. I when I eat mostly, I usually get pumpkin seeds and that, and I do like the taste of it. I do like pumpkin seeds, so that's great. The next item that I've got is this um, yoga bar, mostly dark chocolate cranberry. This is the box. It's so pretty. The color is so nice. Um, the box is so so pretty. See, this is how it's going to look. So I'm excited to eat this actually. Um, this is dark chocolate plus cranberry. I do love cranberry. It says it has high protein, high fiber, whole grain. So inside this package, we get like uh, you know different pouches. So basically, each uh, each pouch is for your um, breakfast. So basically, you don't even have to measure how much muesli you are supposed to take. You just have to use this one pouch. I think for one serving, just uh, put it in a bowl, have some milk, and um, your breakfast is re is ready. So this is really nice. I'm going to have it today. So I will definitely give you my views. Next, I've got this aloe vera juice. So this is the package. This is the aloe vera juice ka package. The directions are also given. You have to shake the bottle before use. Dilute 30 milliliters of aloe vera juice with 30 milliliters of water. Consume twice daily before meals. So that's how we are supposed to take it. I'm quite excited to have it. Actually, it's such a big bottle. It's so heavy. So this is the bottle. This is how the bottle looks. We do have a measuring cup, which is so important because when I was reading 30 ml, the only thing I could think was, how am I supposed to know if it's 30 ml? But I'm really happy that they have given a measuring cup and this is how the aloe vera juice looks. Uh, you can see the pulp inside as well. It's really nice. I've always heard so much about aloe vera juice that it's really good for health. But finally, I'm going to have it. I'll try to have it twice, twice a day. Let's see how that goes. No promises. And next, I got something like just a very basic uh, thing that we all must have in our kitchen. And the last item I've got in this package is this organic mustard oil. Uh, this sorry this is the bottle I'll definitely give you my review of the muesli because I'm going to have it right now in my breakfast so excited for that all right so now I'll just quickly give you my review of this I've not added any sugar by the way so let's see
wow <laughs> trust me i'm not even kidding this is so good i need to have another bite wow this is literally amazing i'm not even kidding firstly i love to have muesli with um like cold milk and i have it like instantly i like i love it when it's crunchy but when it gets soggy i don't like it anymore so it, right now it's crunchy and it's super super tasty like honestly the moment i opened the packet na the smell of chocolate it was really nice i'm not a very big fan of chocolate i'll be honest but this combination chocolate plus cranberry it's one of my favorite and it's so 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 tasty amazing hey guys so um, i just got done shooting my video so it was a sponsored video and that's why it took me much more time than usual uh, because when it's a sponsored video you have to make sure that you are like maintaining all the guidelines they send you like a 2 3 page pdf and you have to go through everything and just make sure that you don't miss out on any brief so that's why it took me much more time plus the moment i started shooting there was like so much background noise there was a truck outside and it was just crazy i don't know it's just a thing you may go to any city anywhere in this whole entire world but the moment you will start shooting there will be so much noise and chaos so i guess i will just never be able to like you know <laughs> get over that So yeah anyway I'm just happy that I got done with shooting this video I actually was supposed to shoot this video way back but I've just been procrastinating upon it and actually I because of the shifting and everything everything got delayed I just needed a proper space to shoot so anyway I'm finally done with it and next I have to like finish my article so that's what I'm going to do next I'm going to work on it it's almost done but I think 60% of of it is done but 40% is left so that's what I'm going to do right now